Only the highest vibrations of love and light can be in the space and all objects in the space for the highest good of for this reading today. All other energies must leave now. I call in the highest level of the divine that knows that love is the power and the truth from which we read. The highest level guides and angels of Prince Rogers Nelson and myself to help us with this reading. Archangel Michael, hold this space for us, and so it is. And so we do acknowledge the forces of light, asking for guidance, direction, and courage to know the truth, as it is revealed for our highest good, and the highest good of everyone connected to us. O Holy Spirit of God, help me to know Prince Rogers Nelson in the light of the Akashic Records. To see Prince Rogers Nelson through the eyes of the Lords of the Records and enable me to share the wisdom and compassion that the Masters, teachers, and loved ones have for Prince Rogers Nelson. His origination point is a star system called Arcturus. It's not the only place he's had incarnations in, but the planet that I see that he's actually connected with is Petra, not Petola. Uh, which I would have thought it would have been Petola, but it's actually Petra. And uh, what he learned in Petra was that he was definitely, he was trained in healing, but in consequent um, incarnations throughout, you know, his various soul journey, definitely picked up sound healing as a way to facilitate healing on a mass level. And I do believe that was ultimately his mission on planet Earth. You know, he sang about um, a lot of really edgy topics such as men and women relationships and sexuality. Um, he kind of pushed the bar with a lot of that. And I do believe that part of what he was trying to do was to make this, this a public topic that all of us can talk about and heal from. And he certainly did exhibit that. And initially in his Arcturian, I do see him specifically training in the Petra uh, crystal temples. But initially what he did was he would use sound as a frequency conduit to facilitate healing much faster. And so this was the healing of souls that have processed through the Arcturus Stargate. Now what happened to him eventually was that he got so well known in Arcturus for the work that he did that he started getting involved with the Galactic Federation and bringing his technique to various star systems. This is how he got involved with the Pleiades. I think the reason why he chose to be an ambassador for the Pleiades, he was trying to establish this higher level of sound frequency healing in Alcyon and Merope and even Maya. He actually ended up becoming a facilitator and a teacher for these more advanced and extreme sound frequency methods. What he ended up getting from his incarnations in Alcyon was um, he started diversing into not just using sound, but also learning to play musical instruments. He was actually a master at playing lots of different musical instruments, even here on Earth. And these were all skills that he learned in Alcyon. And I do believe that he liked to have fun. He liked the party scene. And uh, that was there was a lot of that in Alcyon with the music festivals. And this was a quality that he brought with him to Earth, you know, from the Pleiades. Another quality that he brought with him was relationship styles. He was married and um, partnered with a lot of different women throughout lifetime here on Earth. And in the Pleiades, uh, they have a different view on relationships than we do here on Earth. They're a little bit more polyamorous. And uh, he did bring that with him in his incarnation on Earth. He also had incarnations in Apollonia, which is a star system that's located close to the Pleiades. It is located within the Taurus constellation, but it is not part of the Pleiades. Um, it's just part of the Taurus constellation. But 
it is a center for creativity so souls would go there to really master their crafts so and that's what he was doing on apollonia before he came to earth kind of what i see as far as his mission here on earth there was a lot of corruption in the the hollywood music industry I do think Prince was on the verge of exposing that and I think that's why he decided throughout his career that he wanted to have rights to his own music. He was trying to heal sexuality, um, trying to make it a little bit more expressive, less restrictive, less gross, you know, he was trying to make it more open. I do think that was much needed on Earth, especially in the late 70s and 80s and even early 90s. Um, so that's just a little bit of a glimpse into his um, star, you know, Prince's star origins. I hope this was formative and um, I have great love for the soul. Ever since the 80s, I just have a lot of admiration, groundbreaking work that Prince did while he was here on Earth. And he did make a huge impact on the music industry that I hope will reverberate throughout um, many decades to come. I would like to thank the Masters, teachers, and loved ones for their love and compassion. I would like to thank the Lords of the Akashic Records for their point of view. And I would like to thank the Holy Spirit of Light for all knowledge and healing. The records are now closed. Amen. The records are now closed. Amen. The records are now closed. Amen. Your energy goes with you, and my energy stays with me. Um, thank you, Prince, and thank you, Prince's Guides, for helping us um, during this reading and for giving us a glimpse into this beautiful soul.